bin ein Violin. Das ist Berlin, wie es weint und wie es lacht. Letzte Founder of, of Pakistan. Ja, Mohammed Ali Jinnah. A very famous man, of course, and known for his intellect and the great historical contribution in making Pakistan. But he was also known as a person of, a very, of very fine tastes. And, you know, his dress sense and his sort of, you know, like the way of living in it, it was just immaculate. And there's a very interesting story attributed to him. Mm -hmm. um, actually, you know, that is part of his life, of course, you know, part of his biography. Um, he was in his 40s. And he fell in love with a young girl. In fact, that young girl, very young girl, she was like around 20. She fell in love with Jinnah. And her father, she was, a, she was not a Muslim. And her father did not allow her to marry a Muslim. Even in those days, you know, there were these type of biases. So she actually, she said, okay, then in that case, I will have a civil marriage. She, so she had a civil marriage with Jinnah. And of course, you know, like um, they lived together and, and that's you know, how, how he had his children, his daughter. And one of the very interesting part of that story is once she was asked, she was asked, how did you fall in love with Jinnah? And she said, Jinnah came to our house, my father had invited him, and her father was the richest man in Mumbai, what is today Mumbai. He was a Parsi, as, you know, as a Austrian, and he was the richest businessman there. And he invited, that family is still the, one of the richest families in India. Mm -hmm. You know, Kajazam's, Jinnah's grandson, Naswadia, is, is one of the billionaires, you know, of India. So she said, and we were having that dinner, but when, she, when he came and sat down, and the way he just took his napkin and flipped it, you know, and spread it on him, you know, um, on his lap, she said, that way moment, Wow. Just the style made me fall in love with him. Wow. So he was such a stylish guy. And he had very fine cars and he kept very sort of, you know, like very nice breeds of dogs. And I mean, he had a fine taste in everything. And, uh, and then, of course, the love story, the great love story. And unfortunately, a few years later, after the marriage, she developed cancer, oh. you know. Oh. She, so she actually died very young. And uh, when she was dying, you know, she went to England. In England for treatment and sort of, you know. And from there, she wrote some letters to Jinnah. And one of those letters is known as the Rati, her name was Rati Bai, Rati's last letter to Jinnah. And if you read that letter, you'll start, you'll have tears in your eyes. It's so beautiful. More than nice, nice. Yeah. Sing. Love wow. story. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> More than nice. Thank <laughs> you for sharing that with me. Thank you. Now we have dessert. Yes. What do it's we have? <laughs> it's called uh, it's rice pudding, but mm -hmm. we call it fidney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then let's it, eat. It's yeah, made it's out of milk and rice and sugar. So it's basically, as you said, it's, it's a rice pudding. Okay. Yeah. And it's very popular in Pakistan. Very yeah. traditional. Mm. Very yeah. traditional. Thank you. <coughs> but I okay. wanted to ask you also, um, Ms. Ali, your birthday yes. is today. And uh, you're wearing something special because it's your birthday, you say? Yes, yes. <laughs> and very traditional. <laughs> uh, my dress and especially um, this jewelry is yeah. very traditional in Pakistan because Pakistan has a great tradition um, uh, of jewelry in both gold and silver. And uh, we are also well known uh, in our precious and semi-precious stones, mm -hmm. which uh, we are using in our jewelry. Mm -hmm. And because basically, uh, jewelry plays uh, a very uh, important role in our uh, traditional Pakistani fashion. So we do wear it wherever, whenever we go out or for some weddings. Uh, this is very important part. I mean, in our fashion. And I see important part of of fashion. It's in the Pakistan day. <laughs> you celebrated <laughs> it the second time, yeah. Pakistan day. Tell me about it. Yeah, I know it's lovely to have all those guests. There. You know, like, um, like the last time we had a huge number of friends there. And I was very, you know, like pleased to be able to present glimpses of Pakistan's culture. Yeah. Particularly the very vibrant fashion scene that we have in Pakistan. So we had invited the top designer in Pakistan today, the most popular designer, so to speak, 
um, a girl who's you know friends with her as well, uh, Khadija. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have some pictures. I showed. <laughs> exactly. So Khadija is Elon. That is like you know now the most popular brand in Pakistan. So they model, of course, you saw the show, and of course Zara was there as the show stopper because um, the designer, you know, she she had requested her. She said, you know, you have to be the show stopper in our show, and um, and wear the, you know, the sort of the, the most, most gorgeous, <laughs> most gorgeous Dress. gown of the night. <laughs> I show an interview now, which I made with you. Oh, wonderful. Mr. Salim invited to the reception, and many people followed his invitation. The ambassador shook many hands, and he found time for an interview. So first of all, good, good, evening. good evening. It's a pleasure to have you here. We are celebrating our national day. Um, this is the sort of you know the remembrance of the independence of Pakistan, um, and we're very happy. We're celebrating it in style, and I'm, I'm happy to share that we're also having a cultural presentation today, which will give you uh, glimpses of the the society of Pakistan, the culture of Pakistan, and what it is actually of uh, living in Pakistan. I'm sure if the audience is going to watch it, they want to watch your beautiful, go to your beautiful country and see it. <laughs> yeah, I know that the pa Pakistan is actually, um, yeah, it's, it's a very diverse country with some beautiful mountains. We have some of the biggest, tallest mountains in the world. In fact, out of the top 28 are in Pakistan. We have some amazing forests, um, a lot of history, um, some great archaeological sites, actually two of the oldest cultures in the world, like the within the Indian, um, the Indus Valley civilization, uh, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are in Pakistan. And some German scholars have worked a lot there. So yes, it's a wonderful place to visit. Uh, we'd like to have to invite our German friends to come to Pakistan for tourism, for business, um, to, for the love of history and arts and culture, because we have quite a diversified and rich history. Um, and the people are very hospitable and very welcoming. And I'd also like to um, wish a beautiful summer to all our audience in Berlin. I love the Berlin summer. And now while we're enjoying the afternoon, I come to the end of my Berlin. Oh. Yes, in the uh, Pakistani residency. I'm very, very delighted. I'm so grateful that you invited us and that we could be here. It was a and pleasure to have you and your yeah. team here. Thank you. Um, you know, like, it's always wonderful for us to have guests, and especially you, because you had <laughs> such a wonderful association with us. Yeah. You have been at our National Day, this one, even the last one, and you know, like, um, we love to have friends at our place. Thank you, Shin. Oh, I say it in, in your words. Shukriya. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, now I'm at the end of my Berlin. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Das ist Berlin. Wie es weint und wie es lacht.